Are you sure you want to leave here? No. I mean, I hope so. I've got a box full of something. Welcome to the story of two sailors taking the long way home to Australia on a 38-foot boat called Finding Avalon. Subscribe and join the voyage. Last week we made a huge song and dance of our windlass being broken. Despite this, we set sail from Tahiti to what is known as the surfer's anchorage in Morea, and it did not disappoint. Oh, what a strange morning. It arrived in the middle of the night and um, just this howling wind came through the anchorage and woke us up. And then this current stuck around for the rest of the night. The wind's gone now. Um, and it's basically because the surf is so massive out there that there's so much water coming into this lagoon and no effort to go. So it's just kind of swirling around. And um, yeah, so we had a bit of a rolly night last night. I, I don't know if any of you guys have experienced this yourselves, but it is actually possible to be seasick at anchor. Um, luckily, neither of us are seasick today, but it's happened to me once before. It happened in Greece. To be fair, I hadn't had my sea legs yet. We'd only been, um, we'd only been sailing for a month or two, and uh, yeah, I got it real bad. I was sleeping on the floor in the galley. And we're going out today anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But uh, yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's just, it's just been a complete glass off every day, and then today the. The dinghy looks like a mad dog pulling on his lead. Still in Haviti. Matt has gone back to Avalon, unfortunately. So, yeah, I had to say goodbye to him last night. But, um, and then in a couple of days' time, we're going to have to say goodbye to our good friends on Gia. It's going to be so strange. We've been kind of traveling around with them off and on since we met them in Spain, so a year ago. And then we've met up with them in the Caribbean and pretty much done the whole South Pacific with them. So, if you've been watching this series for a while, then you'll know them pretty well. They've kind of become an extension of us, really, and we love them very much. Dave and Jackson run the boat very similarly, so they just really love bouncing up ideas off each other and talking about captain stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, it's going to be really sad to say goodbye to them. So we're going to be hanging out with them for the next couple of days. I think today we're going to jump on a bus. And yeah, I think the wind's up, so we're going to do a bit of kite surfing. Woo! Came up with the plan today, Dave. Yep. Can you talk me through what the plan is? Oh, our plan. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ellen came up with a plan, but um. Just now I'm in trouble. It was you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If this goes wrong, it was Dave's idea. If it goes well, it was mine. Originally, we were going to take the tenders down because it would have been a nice little run down there. It would have been nice and calm. We would have had our own transport. But now these massive swells are rolling in. We're uh, gonna endeavor to catch the bus or hitchhike or end up walking, whatever the whatever we can do to get down there. Because um, what day of the week is it today? Saturday. So <laughs> it could not, be not known for buses. Sunday. No, no. Maybe <laughs> 
bit of back and put a butt out for you. Okay, let's film it. the boys the plan worked hopefully they will come back there in time for the next sale and it, hopefully they will come back to buy pizza for us oh yes <laughs> but um yeah your plan worked babe got rid of the boys and um, kite surfing beach and um there's been speak of a, a coral garden around here yes i've been it is beautiful we must go again all right we're gonna go and see the coral garden so um stay tuned Yeah. That's where we have to get to. I think with fins will be sweet. If we ground I'm not a lifeguard. I am in the dark about it. Brush it off like it's brass tactics. Reattach on this intrusive game. Mission aborted. <laughs> There's a bit of a current and quite a bit of traffic going through between here and the coral garden so we've had to but it's a lovely day it's a long way <laughs> for a pair of fins that don't fit your feet i've got dave's fins on let's go see if we can get in the way of those guys then this feeling's pulling me down and i never asked for the strong current dragged us back to the beach at great speed. It was super eerie gliding like a ghost through the murky water with dead coral appearing out of what seemed like nowhere. I'm swimming too deep in my recluse brain. Nothing good needs to happen today, I've already seen a stingray and it's not even 7am. So we are leaving this perfect place today, we've been here for five days, um, you're only allowed to stay for three, that's the, that's the anchorage, but um, whoops. So, oh look, stingray. Hey buddy, good morning. Um, yeah, we've got to pull that bloody anchor up again today, which is fine, just manhandle it. Yeah, they're going to come by and actually drop their rubbish off with us because we're going to Tahiti and um, there's lots of rubbish facilities there. There's not really, we don't really know of any rubbish facilities on Maria. And then we're going to go to Tahiti, pick up our windlass and then not really hang around much. We're going to head straight to Niue. way. realise we'd have this much, did you? <laughs> we're going to have it for four hours. Absolutely, dude. Yeah. Until next time. Yeah. 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 That's probably seeing you. Keep that kitchen of yours in yeah, good health. Locked down where they just can't leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be there for three weeks. Howling. Howling about easterly. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
good. <laughs> bye, Gia. Bye-bye. The local surfers were all over it that morning and something told us we were going to regret our decision to leave. Are you sure you want to leave here? No. Look at those waves. Those are some of the best waves I've seen the whole time. Dude, you, you need to get in your dinghy and come out and surf this. It's actually like possibly the best we've seen. We didn't have to f around with that anchor. Of course, of course, the day you leave is the day it's perfect. But um, yeah, no, definitely tuck in there. It's uh, it looks really good out. Yeah, Plenty of breeze for our upwind sail to Tahiti. She's my believer, healing all my doubts, a lighted mirror, reflecting out every true potential, a bedrock belief in a library block to set this bird free. Every element of banks, every color that's attached, she banks pictures blue. I'll see you left a bit of a little break. How we lay in the sunset, walk out in June, the body say, I need you to. Motor back up there. Forwards up there. So for those of you who are impressed with the um, anchoring without windless and 20 knots of breeze, thank you. Take a bow. And for those of you who sympathised, thank you too. It means a lot. So, um, good news today. Uh, I mean, I hope so. I've got a box full of something. <laughs> Whether it's the right one. Um, anyone who has ever ordered anything to another country for your boat, you always know it takes probably two goes to order the first one and then order the right one. I will so. actually laugh if, it's the, if it isn't the windless because <laughs> after we anchored, Jackson, poor Jackson went and dove on Yankee, you're amazing. I was cooking some food, but... Um, and uh, he came back and said, oh, well, the bad news is we've got to, we've got to pull the anchor up and, and, and re-anchor. And I was, I was ready to just end my life. Oh. And it turned out to be a joke, and he said, ah, oh, the good news is that next time it'll be with a windlass. So if that backfires on you, then you deserve it. Yeah, I know. So shiny. So, of course, as we preempted, no boat job is ever a simple boat job, and it's probably taken an extra five hours than expected. Uh, it was not an exact fit, unfortunately, and they definitely changed a few bits, a few sizes here and there. But we've made do, and we've got it to a pretty good point, and she's ready to go. So, she's ready to test, and, uh, Let's have a crack, eh? Ah, oh, what a sweet, sweet sound. Thanks again for tuning in, guys. Like the video, subscribe, and tune in next week to see us use that windlass to leave for Newway.